guys, welcome to Forgotten Spirit Halloween Props. Spirit Halloween 9 here, and today we're going to be giving a quick overview on the animated buzzsaw from Spirit Halloween 2012. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have the animated buzzsaw all set up. He is uh, really cool. Um, this thing is a half-sized uh, animatronic, which means it only goes up from about the bottom of his shirt right here, which you guys can't see, but the bottom of his shirt all the way up to the top of his head. So this thing is a half or full-body, half-bodied animatronic, I guess you could call it. Uh, this animatronic was sold at Spirit Halloween in 2012, and only 2012 was sold in the stores. Um, and that was it. However, it did remain on the website in 2013 where you could have bought this animatronic. Um, this animatronic was actually purchased uh, in 2016. I, I was trying to find one of these and I went on the website. Uh, uh, it was a website uh, that not really people, many people know about, but I was going onto this website and I found that they had a couple of these for sale and they were in really good condition. Uh, brand new supposedly and I went ahead and I picked one up for about $160 and this thing is a 2012 animatronic as I mentioned already in the intro now for those of you guys who are not familiar with Morbid Enterprises Morbid Enterprises makes a lot of those big uh, life-sized animatronics they also make a lot of uh, really unique collectibles and a lot of really cool uh, a lot of really cool unique animatronics they make a lot of unique things like they make the um, the palm bleeder and I know they've made the, uh, this year actually, they made the backpack zombie and the three-headed uh, guy. I forget what his name is. Um, the quality on this thing is not too bad. Um, it's mostly fabric. It's a mostly fabric and matronic with um, a plastic saw blade, plastic head, and plastic, obviously, internals. Um, now, the thing that gives the body the structure of the body, or rather the shape of the body, is this really thin cheap plastic that I really don't like when companies use because it, it typically breaks. Um, I haven't really seen a whole lot of problems with this animatronic. Um, I have seen quite a few videos of where this animatronic has slowed down. Um, I don't actually know where you can still find this thing. I'm pretty sure you can still get him on eBay or if you want. Um, it has very good detail. The face is detailed quite well. If you can see there's a various um, cuts and scabs and wounds in his head which is quite interesting and if you take a look on the back of the head you guys can see this but if you take a look on the back of the head there's actually a part where his brain is ex exposed so that's very interesting now a lot of you guys might be thinking oh well isn't there two variations and yes there is there's the hanging version which is this one right here and there's actually the lie down version that um, was never really popularized very well. It wasn't sold at Spirit Halloween in 2000. It wasn't sold at Spirit Halloween at all. It was basically just an exclusive animatronic that they happened to make in 2013, I guess, to to make a different variation of this animatronic. I'm not really sure how to describe that, but that's kind of cool. I mean, you get two different variations. Um, and so a lot of people don't think this animatronic has um, very good looks as far as... Um, how it looks. It doesn't look very realistic. Um, and part of the reason why is because the eyes don't, there's not really any eye part. It's just basically white with red and a black dot painted in the middle. And most eyes don't look like that, I'm pretty sure. But you could say this guy was in a pretty freak accident and he's really beat up. And he is very beat up. I mean, his arms are gone, his legs are gone, and he has a saw blade in his chest. I'm going to go ahead and turn him on here and give you guys a quick demo because I know a lot of you guys want to see this guy. This guy takes, oh you know, I did want to talk about that. The situation with this animatronic is you have the try me right here and now this guy has three modes. He has the off, the on, and the try me. And the try me mode does not seem to work for whatever reason. Uh, it's broken. But let me go ahead and get him turned on. He takes four AA batteries as you can tell. And he does not plug into the wall, so I guess this guy would last you quite a long time. So, here's a demo. Now, this guy is sound and motion activated, so he will be activated with a clap. Or 
or if you want to, if you want to place this thing in a well lit area, he has a very good motion sensor, or rather light detecting sensor, and it works pretty well. So guys, that's pretty much it for this animatronic. There's not really a whole lot to talk about here because it's a very straightforward animatronic. But anyway guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, be sure to subscribe if you like these videos. Leave a comment or give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.